You've either seen it, done it, or both. And for a lot of people, a slow driver in the left-hand lane can be frustrating. Yeah, state law says we should be using the far left lane on multi-lane roads as a passing lane only. But as Mike McDaniel explains, drivers either don't know or don't care. Let's face it, there are lots of rules of the road. Buckle up, don't speed, use your blinker. We should all know those. But there's one that really gets drivers revved up. Drive just about anywhere on a multi-lane road and you'll see it. You're trying to get somewhere, but the person in the left lane is just coasting, creating a rolling roadblock. People get angry about it. For drivers, it can be downright frustrating. You will see people driving in the left lane all day, every day. Wherever you go, you'll see it. Tanya Bergeron knows the rules of the road. It's her job. In her 14 years as owner of NOLA Driving Institute, she specifically teaches young drivers and even adults about the left-hand lane. I think that they, a lot of people do not know that it's a real law. Rules about lane usage were adopted in a state law in 1962, then amended four times to stipulate what's allowed in the left lane. Current law has been around since 2009. Simply put, outside of emergencies, law enforcement instruction, or making a left-hand turn, state law says that far left lane on all multi-lane roadways is for passing only. We buckled up with Bergeron for a drive. Say they want to pass me, this car in the left lane, they want to pass me. As soon as they pass me and they're 100 feet ahead, you know, they should signal and get back over and leave that lane clear. That doesn't always happen. They're not trying to get over or pass a slower moving vehicle. They're just riding in the lane. Under state law, holding up traffic because you're going too slow in the left lane could mean a $100 fine and up to 30 days in jail. It could also mean a holdup for emergency vehicles that need to pass. They could write tickets all day about this, for sure. Bergeron doesn't see that happen, though. I've never, ever seen them enforce riding in the left lane. WWL Louisiana requested almost five years' worth of traffic citations related to improper left-hand lane usage from Orleans, Jefferson, Tangipahoa, St. Bernard, and St. Tammany parishes. We sent the same request to Metro Police Departments and State Police. Some agencies had handfuls of citations. Others had none. Most of those citations were for improper usage of the right lane. It is a law, but at the end of the day, it's just common courtesy. While improper usage of the left-hand lane is in a high traffic priority for law enforcement, Tangipahoa Pair Sheriff Gerald Sticker knows it can lead to other problems. Everybody's in a hurry everywhere they're going, right? You know, they're, they're leaving late, trying to get to where they're going on time. And so, uh, you know, road rage is a thing, you know, just in general. One of Sticker's priorities as new sheriff is to bring back a traffic unit to the parish. Officers will be focused on everything. A ticket's not an answer to every situation, but certainly there's going to be a, a pretty good enforcement component to this. Whether through enforcement or simple courtesy, Bergeron says keeping the law in mind when driving can shift the flow of traffic. Things would be a whole lot smoother if they would just pass the car that's going slow and get to the right and get back in the right lane like they should. Whether they will, will continue to be the idling question. Mike McDaniel, WWL, Louisiana.